morning, church family. It is very good to be with you today. I have something to show you from my kitchen. It's this. See that? That is soap. We use it to wash our dishes and to wash our hands. I'm sure you know how very important it is to wash your hands properly before you eat and before you cook. That helps protect you and protect other people from getting sick and spreading germs. But did you know that not everybody has access to clean water in their kitchens? In fact, during Jesus' day, when people were sick with something that they thought might spread to the whole community, the sick people had to live outside of the city. They had to stay away so that the germs wouldn't spread to other people. That was very difficult for them. Our story today has to do with 10 men who are living outside of the city. We're gonna find out what happens when they meet Jesus. Let's take a look. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem when he crossed the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had a sickness called leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him, but they called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Taking a good look at them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. They went and while still on their way, they became clean. One of them, when he saw he was healed, turned around and came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet, so thankful, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all 10 made clean? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this outsider? Then he said, get up and go. Your faith has healed and saved you. I wonder from our story today, what words you remember. Did you notice how the men had to live outside of the city? But by the end of the story, one of the men was close to Jesus at his feet. Some of the words that I think about when I hear this story are the words clean and the words healed. What do those words mean to you? Clean and healed. That little word healed that Jesus uses at the end when he tells the man that he is healed, a very special word in Greek. And it doesn't just mean having good physical health. It can actually mean being restored, being redeemed, being saved. Isn't that amazing? Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much that you want to save us. You want us to be clean. You want us to be near to you. We thank you and we praise your holy name. Amen. Well, church family, I wish that I could be nearer to you. Maybe someday I will be able to. In the meantime, I've been missing you. I love you and I will see you then.